Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to XT and this is the video on the go. This is the video number three. So by looking the title of this video, you already know that uh, we're going to access the files of my PC through phone or access the phone files through PC. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So first of all, how are we going to do that? It's very simple. The devices that we're going to connect to each other is through a network, through a local network, obviously. First of all, you need to get these two devices into the same Wi-Fi. That means my phone and my laptop should be on the same Wi-Fi connection. Okay, in my case, uh, I don't have a router, so I'm just connecting through my hotspot to the PC. I'm turning on the hotspot on my phone and connecting the Wi-Fi to the PC. Okay, uh, once you do that, you need to turn on the command prompt to check your IP and the username of your computer. Okay, first of all type ipconfig and hit enter. Once you do that, you can see the IPv4 address. That's the IP address of your PC. You should note it down. In my case, it is 192.168.43.90. That's it. I copied that down. And now let's know the user of this account. Hit net user, net space user and hit enter. Here you can see Abu Sufyan is the administrative account. You need to keep that on mind. Okay. Hit copy that and keep that in. Now uh, go to the control panel and search control panel and open it up. Now search, uh, click on the network and internet and then click on network and sharing center. And out of that, change advanced sharing settings. Okay. Now we need to uh, allow some things like we need to turn on the discovery on the network discovery and turn on file uh, and printer sharing on the private. Then go to the guest or public one option and do the same thing. Turn it on as you can see in the screen. Turn on file and printer sharing. And if you want to give access to all the networks, you can give that too. I've given it. So, and then use 128-bit encryption and turn on password protected sharing. And save as changes, done. Okay, next thing is that we need to share a folder or file to the network. In my case, I'm uh, going to share this movie folder. Simply just right click on it and Hit the properties, hit on the sharing, advanced sharing. Okay, share this folder. <clears throat> share this folder. And you can type any name you want to share. Hit the permissions. If you want, I just want to give the read, not the change one. I don't want to give the full access. I just want to read it from my phone. I just want to play the videos or something. Okay, close. Now we can do one thing, we can check it on the PC. Let's type the address 192.168.43.90. Hit enter. There you see, uh, it is already shared on the network. Okay, now let's go to the phone. On the phone, uh, first of all, you'll need a file manager. Any file manager will work which supports network sharing. In my case, I'm using the CX, CX File Explorer. Uh, hit on the network and let me remove this. It's already been there. Okay, hit on the plus and remote. Hit the local network. Now you see it's going to search the files that is shared on the local area network. Usually it fails, uh, so we're going to manually input it. Uh, let's put the IP address and account user and password. There it is. You can see that as our the IP was 192.168.43.90. Username is Abu Sufyan, my username. And the password that we're going to use is your computer's login password. Okay, then hit enter. There you can see we have the movies here that we shared uh, let's play some videos and let's show you I'm gonna open a movie uh, let's see open Ali and Nino 2016 don't ask me how did I get this 
movies okay oh oh it was on an aspect ratio of 4 by 3 for column 3 4 to 3 uh, let's make it the best fit okay best fit there you can see there is no latency not much latency we can just skip anywhere and cut it through okay let's go back and let's try some other other movies like, let's play this equalizer 2 you can see there is there is very minimum latency we can easily cut through the things and hit back now, let's just see the size of this thing this folder is around 72 gigabyte 72 gigabyte okay that's it that's done here this is how you access your computer files through your phone how to access phone files in PC okay that's a piece of cake let's get back to the CX file explorer uh, hero network access from PC uh, click a random port or in my case I'm selecting 3000 start service okay this is the FTP server that we got FTP means file transfer protocol I'll make a video on that don't worry about it okay let's get back to the PC and this PC uh, let's type here the address that we got from the phone that is FTP column forward slash forward slash 192.168 Point four three point one uh, one column three thousand. That's the port hit enter and voila, that's it. This is the internal storage of my phone. Okay, there you see the f copy speed is pretty fast. Let's copy this file, it's about 80 MB. Let's paste it on the desktop. It's taking a while to copy it. What can you expect? Okay, it's done. Okay, let me show you the actual speed of the connection. Let's go to Google Chrome and type that address FTP and 0.33 3000. Hit enter device scroll down and let's click on that file Samsung Galaxy S10 okay start download it's 80.51 MB okay the speed you see is about six five to six megabyte per second pretty fast not so bad so that's it this is how you transfer files between your PC and phone wirelessly so guys if you think this video helped you uh, make sure you hit that like button uh, subscribe to my channel if you loved it so much and to give me a bonus share this video with your friends and until then see you guys in the next one